The Dwarves of Erebor. This is a faction that I've uh, been looking forward to play um, and kind of dreading to play at the same time. Um, you see, I, uh, I'm, I'm named Durin. I am named after the Lord of the Rings dwarf, Durin. And, you know, I, I love my name and I love the uniqueness of it, but uh, I haven't actually felt that much kinship to dwarves in video games. And a lot of the reason is, is that play styles tend to be very defensive um, or very slow and just things that I don't tend to usually like um, in terms of how I like to play games like this. Um, but I was looking through the Dwarves of Erebor faction, and they are significantly different than the Dwarves of Khazar Doom in this game. I didn't play much of either of the Dwarven factions, but um, one thing that the Dwarves of Khazar Doom have is unparalleled infantry. You know, super heavy infantry, and they got lots of it. Um, but they have this weakness here, almost entirely lacking in cavalry and archers. And they have some axe throwers and some other good units, and I'm not saying that their roster is bad by any means, um, but I am saying that I prefer uh, the flexibility that Erebor has to offer from its chariots, its mountain goat cavalry unit. Um, it has some good crossbows and uh, good rangers as well. Some of the some of the best rangers I think in the game in a lot of ways I would argue. Um, because of the way crossbow bolts fire as opposed to um, longbow or you know bow shots, I guess. Uh, just the arc is a little different, and I, I think it works better for crossbows. But anyways, um, I'm excited to play this region, uh, this faction, um, and yeah, let's get right into it. So I was messing around as Dale, um, I will say, a little bit ago, I was just playing with some of the campaigns the first few turns, uh, I've mentioned this before, um, trying to understand, you know, what all different factions have available and stuff. I didn't look through everyone's building chains or everything, I just kind of, you know, looked around at what they start with, um, to see how interested I was in the campaign. Um, the Arthur Dane campaign, over, overall, I felt like really balanced on a knife's edge, um, the whole time, uh, it felt like it was pretty perilous, uh, in the sense that my units were very expensive compared to my economy. I wasn't uh, able to really... Anyways, let's, let's not talk about that. Let's talk about the Dwarves of Erebor. So we have Gimli here, who is in a unit of the Sons of Durin. Indeed, my child. Um, it's a unit, pretty small uh, size, but amazing melee stats. Uh, very strong. They also have the Frightened Nearby Enemy Infantry trait. So these are kind of similar to the Nazkai. Um, they're not quite as potent looking as the Nazkai, actually, but we'll see how they perform. Um, King Dane, well, we can see what he is when he gets out. I'll be pretty honest, when I see an enemy settlement like this, as I did in my Dale campaign, I took Erebor as soon as possible, and I think in my um, Erebor campaign, I will uh, take Dale as quickly as possible. That is too good to pass up. Um, we have a spy here as well, we could try and get really lucky. Oh, never lucky. Um, hey, let's go. So this is this is Legolas's faction. Um, I would love an alliance with them. I will. Thank you. So me and Legolas don't have to fight. We can be friends forever now. That's good. I like that. Um, and we'll go. Uh, we'll go make good with the hobbits and the other elves over here. Get trade rights with the other dwarves as well. Um, as far as Erebor, we have some pretty cool buildings here. I'll just go through the building browser to start, because I actually looked through this when I was uh, looking through their uh, campaigns first few turns. Um, they get advanced chainmail, which, if you know things about barracks, uh, you know, plus, 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 this is different than the chainmail that I've seen everyone else get. Um, and obviously, they increase uh, melee weapons, or upgrade melee weapons. Uh, they don't have a trebuchet, ballista, and catapult. They... I'm not sure if that actually gives any of your units armor still, but it does do a tier higher, I guess. Um, they get a pretty cool assortment of units from their barracks. Uh, a lot of melee infantry. Uh, they get everything from the dwarven miners, which are your chaff, kind of. Not that they're that chaffy. To the uh, 
very elite, you know, Erebor uh, units in the Sons of Durin. Um, from our archery ranges, let's see what we get. we get. Crossbows and Blacklock Engineers. Do we get... Oh. We don't get crossbows till tier, tier 3 archery range. That's, uh, that's pretty extreme. Take a look at our tavern here. We get spies. I kind of wish they'd have a better tavern, being dwarves and all. They have just better bonuses from uh, a drinking hall. That's all the same. Here we go. We got the uh, Great Forge of Erebor, which gives an income for mining of 1,275. A ton of free upkeep units, tradable goods, as well as recruitment for the Blacklock Engineers. All it requires is a Tier 3... Uh, barracks. Get some port stuff. Well, I don't think we can build that here. I don't think we have a port here, but uh, yes, we get the mining complex. Gives lots of mining, as you can see, mining value here. Mason's Guild headquarter. Oh, I remember this gives uh, something about constru uh, reduced construction costs uh, of stone structures, but. Um, I'm not sure how useful that is actually once if you get it late, you know. You get a merchant's guild option, which is nice. I've never actually seen a merchant's guild offered, but I imagine at a certain point it could happen. And bank. So this is our market. Okay. Cool. I didn't see stables in there, um, which does have me worried that I can't recruit Cav. But we'll see if there aren't other settlements that will let me recruit Cav here. I think that shows everything. I'm not sure. We're going to keep Pope alive here. Everyone's going to group up, and we're going to siege Dale. Um, grab... Oh, we just need one bear out of the battery room, mostly. Oh, mercenaries available. Oh. Well, I can't say I'm a fan of getting my cav from a mercenary unit, but... That's pretty expensive, too. Um, but at least I have access to them. 51 soldiers. It's a great charge bonus. And they're armor-piercing, too. Okay, that's pretty neat. Um, I don't think I'll get them right now, but it's good to know that they're an option. Let's get some miners, some stuff that takes one turn to recruit. Should also work a spy in there, too, because... Um, that's right, we have another province over here. I think I'll follow the same route and get some... Miners down over here? Maybe I want better troops over here, because... Settlements to take over here. That there's gonna be rebels. Rebel settlements can be pretty well defended too. Um, so I'm a I'm a big fan of these Ironfoot axe throwers. They're very similar to our Ironfoot warriors here. You know, Ironfoot warriors attack nine, total defense nineteen. Um, the breakdown of the defense of nineteen is identical on both of these guys, by the way. So there's no difference in their nineteen defense. Uh, they just have. Like two less melee attack, but they have a missile attack of 12, and I think uh, they have like maybe four, five volleys. It could be more. It, it doesn't feel like a ton, but it does a significant amount of damage. They aren't armor piercing, but that high missile damage uh, is very powerful and not to be underestimated. So this is a pretty good unit of what I consider line infantry, because um, on guard mode they could even throw their axes in melee, and if troops are coming towards them, they'll throw a volley of axes before they you know make contact. And if they run away, they'll take a volley of axes to the back as well. That's very strong. Um, the Ironfoot Spears are really nice. Um, the Dwarves kind of have a bit of a weakness to Cav, uh, simply because they are very slow and immobile um, as far as most of their units go. That goes probably some more to Khazar Doom. Like we said earlier, this is the lighter armor faction of Dwarves, so we'll see a bit more mobility from us. Uh, we also have the Mercenary Guildsmen, which are nice because they're an armor-piercing uh, melee unit. Um, which, if you notice, these guys are not. However, the Ironfoot Halberds are a very solid unit um, of Halberds. They can make uh, spear wall formation, so they can fight in Phalanx, and uh, cover not quite as well as Pikes, because their reach isn't as long, but they are armor-piercing, and have better stats than most Pikemen. Um, so you'll see them get a bit more killing done, and they're also bonus fighting cavalry. Um, so these are going to be a pretty core part of our build, I think. So I think I'm going to go with... For right now, I'm going to grab a unit of halberds. I'll grab a unit of axe throwers. And we'll wait here two turns before we move out. Mm. 
It's a long time to wait. So, one thing to note with the mine value of 1,275, if you already have mines that give you 765, that's only what, 500 gold more? 510 gold more that you're getting? So, you shouldn't be thinking of, okay, 5,000 gold gets me, you know, 1,275 per turn. I'm actually getting more, you know, like 500. So it'll take me 10 turns to pay this off, which is actually really good. Um, I guess population growth as well. So I'm going to nab that, and actually what I'm going to do is downgrade your training over here so that Erebor, yeah. I for warriors. Well, no, I'll just get miners. That way we can move out in one turn. Oh, and I have a smith here so I can retrain. Oh, that's actually a neat. I can see this guy's obsidian guard just by massing over him. Okay. This is my faction heir. My faction leader's over here. Okay. Well, we spent a lot of money there, but we're going to end our turn here. I think we've done everything we can. It's going to be quite an aggressive start against Dale. We'll probably wipe them out easily within the first episode. Leading the men with honor, sire. Make sure we have a settlement to fight at. Actually, I know that Dale has a settlement to fight at because I saw a uh, YouTube video by a UMAD commander that was a battle replay that took place at Dale. Well, assuming the map works, but what's the name of my faction? Air uh, War. Okay. I kind of, maybe I want that calf. What's this guy? Dalian Paladin. So this is pretty tough unit here. Um, I, I played Dale for a couple turns and honestly their campaign position is broken in terms of how strong it is. They probably have the easiest campaign that I I started playing. Um, it was it was too easy to to do any sort of video on. It was just it was a rollover. Anyways, Yeah, these guys are not bad. Missile attack is 7, long range missiles. Uh, they're not armor piercing, but that's a significant amount of damage, and they can they can really lay down some hurt. I mean, I don't think I want the cav for this fight, and I don't really want to pay an extra 315 per turn until I absolutely need it, so we're just going to fight it without it, because I don't need it. I hope I don't crash here. If I don't get to fight this, I'm gonna take some big damage. Okay, good, yeah. Okay, so this is the, uh, this is the Dale settlement here. It's fucking beautiful, dude. Like, this is awesome. This is one of the best settlement maps I've ever seen. Uh, yeah. This is, I, I wish more Medieval 2 maps were like this. Um, unfortunately, I kind of want to go through this front gate, because this is the fastest way to the center, and I'm probably going to have to break down multiple gates, but I guess we'll go over here for now. Um, I'm going to let my uh, general's bodyguards do quite a bit of the work here, I think. Because I didn't check out what this guy's. So Highborns of Erebor, let's take a look at those. I remember fighting against them in the Arthedain campaign, and they were pretty tough. Yeah, that's a very strong unit of line infantry. Pretty standard, though, for factions with good infantry to have something with that, though, at this point, from what I'm seeing. Knights of Anuminus were pretty similar in their stat lines. Um, these Sons of Durin will be how I kill the um, Dalian's Paladins quickly, though. I'll try and have them get a solid charge while the Paladins engage on these Ironfoot warriors. Why waste their time? Alright, let's speed this up. I'm rambling. The 
the ram will break the gates. Are we getting shot? Oh, yeah, I see that, uh, flame arrow. I heard the sound, like it was a volley of arrows. Oh, they are shooting, yeah. Well, the great shots. In place. It will not be long before our enemy's defenses fall. I'm not even gonna hit any of my guys, but feel free to shoot these guys. Our men have done well. The gates have fallen. Don't drop that ram. You got one more gate, buddy. Maybe two. This is a three layer settlement. This is part of why we're gonna take Dale early. It's because stuff like this gets so much harder to take if they have more than three units. Soldiers have like, it today. actually becomes a real the battle. Enemy's walls belong to us now. Okay, that's a much better firing position. Why don't you hide behind this house over here? Hopefully these houses are real. Like they, doesn't look like they're shooting though, so. The battering ram is in place. It will not be long before our enemy's defenses fall. The well, ram has done its work. Now it's like the time we get through. Bring our sons of Darren up too. Hey. You can the get in here too, so can you. If we remain true and steadfast, victory Ooh, will be ours. Okay. Do you see that? They're just... This is hard, because I can't really path them behind. Hopefully this does... Yeah, okay, that's doing what I want to. Great. Close the gap, you guys. Yeah, you get sent into the floor. Come on. Keep going. Jesus. Gimli's gonna die to these daily bowmen here. I'm not careful. These guys are shooting too. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Gotta keep doing this so they don't keep getting point blanked like that. Okay. The paladins lock themselves up in the final level. You guys grab the ram. We're coming for you. We're coming for you, king. God, I wish I could path these guys deeper. It's just not possible for that section. I can't. Oh, what up here? Up. Oh, but I can't walk through. Okay, dang. Yeah, no, see, there's gonna get a volley off right into this guy's face. Oh. Into them? No, not into my axe throwers. God, these guys are so annoying. My range units are never this good at firing in combat. They're they're more like these guys right now. They're just stand there and do nothing, even though it says they're firing missiles. That's usually what happens to me. Instead of these pros over here, able to <laughs> shoot their bullets at, shoot their arrows at magical angles. All right, we got the ram. Let's push it up. Oh, and look at those guys down there. So actually, you come down here. Like a lot of these battles are gonna be time six speed, just how slow my guys move. No, go fight them right there. I know it's hard to understand, but they're standing right here, they're not all on the wall. Alright, you guys got it. Hey, who are you shooting at? I think we killed them all. Our men are winning the battle. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Great. Oh, there's a bone right there running. 
He doesn't feel like killing him. Probably ran right through you. So I get for not putting him in a guard mode. Oh. Now the uh, ram's getting shot. Just back up a little bit. You guys can get up here. You can join the... I want the axe throwers actually to be part of this too. We can... It may not be AP, but we can wear down the Gyrian's Paladins. Twelve missile attack is no joke. I mean, those archers won AP, and you saw how much damage they did to the Sons of Durin. Those guys had seven missile damage. We got like more than that. I guess honestly, yeah, fire at will. No, yeah, ram it. There you go. Will not be long before our enemy's defenses fall. And then you guys better be right behind them because you guys are probably going to get charged after their first volley. Battering Ram has done its work. Now is the time for brave hearts and brave deeds. Ah! I knew it was going to happen, but I was very bad at reacting to it. I can't pass anything up here. Alright. I should be able to throw over my own men pretty well. My men are short, so... That is one huge advantage to dwarves, is with things like the uh, throwing axes arc, combined with the fact that you're usually shorter than your opponent, um, means that there's a lot of stuff your missile units can do that would otherwise be very dangerous. achieve greatness you need to be right there there you go Does that feel better apparently not you're all turning around oh that looks like a volley throw it you can do it maybe not come a little farther forward Pretty determined to get these guys to fire at this point. Because I need to learn how their firing arcs are going to work. I think it's just the gateway that's messing them up more than anything. I've used these guys before. Yeah. Let's uh, try and sneak out. Kill there too. Three, four, maybe. Yeah, I mean this is pretty good. It's not devastating, but you know any kill on these uh, that I can get for free on Garian's Paladins is worth it. These guys are so tough. of the city. I think it's just their king that's left alive. The end is a clear victory. Okay.
Good enough for me. Didn't have to be perfect victory. Glory and honor. A most noble conquest. Well, I know what our next move is. I know I an honor, my lord. My king. Actually, we got miners. In, well, let's see if we can just leave that. It's probably worth less than a unit of miners. Well, I'm just gonna bring one down armor. just in case they have like the armies, sire. I don't know a army over here. I can't see. I, my liege. Leading the men with honor, sire. I, sire. Still about those war goats. Okay. My king. I feel pretty I confident abandoning Kier Gathol though. Because, uh. We come here with your lord. I know, We're just gonna walk this we way. And if we find a settlement on the way. Good. Because, uh. Oh, do I have a spy now? No, it's next turn. Um, so we're building. Let's get the mines over here. Tier 1 mines. Yeah. Wait. I mean, obvious I should get this one, but I already, let me just check something, 165, doesn't increase it, does increase it to the set amount. We're going to build this one first, but later in the campaign when I have a bit more money, I might build this one. I don't think, I think it's in here twice and I'm not going to get the effects from it. That, that seems like a... An honor, my lord. Yeah. Well, population growth bonus and some money, I will take it. My king. I think that's just the end of turn two right there. I don't I don't think there's anything else I can do. You should have to hope Dale doesn't have reinforcements. We bring you a mess nope. this day. We understand. Goodbye. As always, the turn to long turn, as it's called now. Um, in the long night, uh, an AI is trying to do something called defeat Mordor. And so one of Numenor right now is winning the War of the Ring. And it's all going to be over. And you're going to see what I'm talking about in just a second. Numenor is about to win, and Mordor is just gone for the rest of the game. Not actually, though. Mordor sticks around, but you do get a notification that they've been defeated. Awaiting your command. Aye, sir. Oh, neat. Aye, my liege. Some of the best units currently available. This army needs anything I can get right now. Aye, sir. We'll rest here for night, sire. Something to investigate. I know, sire. We march to battle. Wait. <laughs> they got a family member. Um. That's funny. That is funny. At your service. I, my liege. I think this can win. I'm not too. I'm not too worried about winning. Actually, I'm just worried about losing a general because I know what those two units are. One of them, because I've played Dale before, I should have pulled the stack card for all you guys just to see. It's called the Black Shot Dragon Slayers, which have the coolest looking bows in the entire game. Awesome looking unit. Uh, they're a very devastating armor piercing archer unit. And the other one is um, Daily and Royal Guard, I think it's called. Um, which is just a general's bodyguard tier hybrid greatsword uh, archer unit. Also very strong. They're armor piercing in melee. I don't think they're armor piercing in range. We're gonna have a little trouble with that. We're gonna grab all our guys. Forget you can't hold down control and do drag like you can in Warhammer. To select, in addition to the group you already 
you already have. Got another custom settlement here, by the looks of it. Um, this looks like Lake Town, which I guess would make sense because that's what we're attacking. Ooh, Jesus. I like the. Uh, let me zoom in a little bit. I think I'm too far out. That's what's causing that. Um, I like the uh, port in the middle. Oh, no, it's just. You know, those are some missing uh, missing planks in the boardwalk. It's, that's simulating you tripping as you as you walk through. Oh wow, I love the love the touch of the little marketplace here. I wonder if uh, Medieval Two has the ability to, because uh... like in in some Total Wars, I forget. I think you know three. I know Three Kingdoms has it, but I think Attila had it too. Where like there'd be kind of like just. I don't know, NPC civilians wandering around these places, and they would actually attack enemy soldiers sometimes, and they would get a ki kills occasionally. It's kind of silly. I mean, it didn't do much damage. It might have killed like one or two men uh, at most, and, you know, so it usually just did nothing. But it was just kind of a silly thing that was present. It'd be interesting to see stuff like that in towns like this. You could even give them, like, garrisons, effectively, of, you know, a few units of civilians for certain factions, like, uh,. I know, uh, is it, is it Dole Amroth who has civilians in their roster? I think it is. Um, you know, in Dole Amroth uh, settlements, you could have civilian units kind of wandering around, and I don't know. I guess orcs have, like, the orc fodder. I guess every faction probably has something similar. Like, probably not, like, Numenor or the elves, maybe, but maybe you just have less of them. This is a little bit of a long walk here. Why didn't I try and cross the bridge? What am I doing? Bridge right here. Okay, let me just hop across here because it's a little unstable. But we're gonna take a look at these guys. Like I said, Black Shot Dragon Slayers back here. Look amazing. Look at that unit model. That's that's too good, um, and then as you can see, their bows are like X's. They uh, fire uh, projectile from that double compound recurve power. Okay, no, go go right there, and then go across. Can you not cross that bridge? Hold up. Wait a minute. I'm clicking the other side, right? Yeah, okay, so I guess you can't cross that bridge. I had the right instincts. We're going around. You can probably shoot range rings across that. Like, it's probably a good position for a catapult or a ballista from the defenders here. Um, even some good bowmen. You know, it'd be nice as the enemy files in past your first layer of defense. And you have this nice curving choke to hold them in. Uh, which actually does give you opportunities to have kind of weird staggered formations that let you get uh, shots off. Oh! Hello? They're coming for me. Well, actually... Okay, we're gonna get a volley into them too. Partially. All right, sweet. Looks like the uh, these guys just decided to engage and not shoot us at range. That's awesome. We'll pull our uh, axe throwers a little bit farther forward. Really? Oh no! Come on! Keep going! Keep going! Get him! Don't let him get away. Okay, we gotta close the gap here. Our men are winning the battle. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. I'm not really sure how good these abilities are. I've never, like noticed dramatic effects from any of them. The locks morale ability is nice if they're about to route. I, I could definitely see myself using that portion of it, but sometimes I just kind of wish I had shield wall. All right, 
they keep trying to get away. If they keep trying to do this, they're not going to actually fight back ever. So this is... Pretty good. So we caught a couple of them. Okay. Wait, are some of them still alive? There's one of them over here. Got that one. All right, now the black shot dragon slayer is coming forward. These guys have a very powerful volley, and I want my chaff to. Uh, absorb it more than anything else, because it will hurt my general's bodyguard units, for sure, especially the Sons of Durin, who don't have shields. So those guys are actually going to pull off the side until we engage them, actually. Yeah, let's take a look at these guys uh, firing. Oh, are they getting blocked by their friends here? That's bad. What? This Dalian Royal Guard is uh, not helping their team, actually, right now. They are focusing the Sons of Durin with their shots. Um, which does force them to take a bad arc of fire right now, but try and close that gap. Well, not always. These guys got some Darth Maul swords here. Um, some dual bladed glaives of sorts. That's a little over the top, but that's still a very cool unit. Fantasy should oh, should be over the top, anyways. Well, I was kind of hoping to show you guys the Black Shot Dragon Slayer shooting a melee, but since the Dalian Royal Guard are standing in front of them, they won't fire because they don't want to hit their own men. So the the inferior archer units didn't fill the superior one, and uh, oh, they actually tried shooting right there. get our good infantry around the flank here. Nope. Nope. Not in the fight. Did you hear what I said? Are you listening to me, young dwarf? Alright, let's get some... Uh... Ooh, they're about to shoot. Yeah, check out those uh, like, expos. Get it? They're not crossbows, but they're expos. They're armor piercing, so it makes sense. The battle is very much in our favor. If we remain true and steadfast, victory will be ours. Yeah. Well, now that we got some elite dwarven infantry behind them, these uh, hybrid infantry wall very, very deadly at range, um, and even up close in melee, do not really stand to the uh, dwarven quality of infantry and as a result this fight is going to be over fortunately it doesn't seem like the dragon slayers are shooting my uh, axe throwers they're shooting someone else which is uh, not helping them to shot the axe throwers they could actually get some decent kills here and the axe throwers are, are doing damage to them oh there they are they started that. Oh, didn't mean to do that. You know, we probably have better armor than everyone else around us, so we can just keep throwing axes into our own men, honestly. Enemy general fallen. Woot woot, not a, not a friendly general. It's always the risk, sending your generals into battle like this. I would love to keep Gimli alive for this whole campaign. That would be that would be great. I'm gonna try to. Him being a Sons of Durin unit actually makes it a lot harder though, because uh, not exactly as defensive as his uh, Highborns of Erebor counterpart here. The other one was Obsidian Guard, which is also a little bit more offensive of a unit. Um, But I, I feel like it's a better, or a tankier unit in terms of 
in that respect, though. The end this is a clear victory. And that is the end of Dale. Dale actually starts with another settlement, so that's interesting. They must not have had a family member there. Um, we'll send over some men to take that as well. Let's go for the farmlands for now, because more growth is never a bad thing. And then we'll head for it was over here somewhere, because I, I did start as daylight. I know where the starters are, it's somewhere over here. At your service. Okay, that's the end of that guy's stuff. We'll just save up until we actually can afford those guys. My king. Our, our income per turn is actually not bad right now. We're, you know, a little over 2,000 gold per turn profit. Um, actually, no, we're more like 3,000 gold per turn profit, 3,200. Um, yes, my king. So our income is actually pretty good. But we could, always, we could always spend that on a general's bodyguard, which I imagine will be pretty expensive. Just see how much they cost. I think I'll save the money for right now, because I have some expensive buildings that will give me lots of money once I build them. Oh, it's right here. It's not even defended. Might be a consequence of them turning rebel, honestly. Continuing tomorrow, My king. So yeah, I was right here. Oof, that's well defended. These right here are going to be a big problem. Mercenary crosswomen are so annoying. They do a ton of damage and they're very mobile. Uh, and the AI actually controls them pretty well. That's going to be frustrating. Um, what are we going to do... It's four turns. So what we're going to do is you're going to... If they sally out, I think I'm just going to retreat. I don't think I can win the battle, but if they decide to not sally, they take kind of attritional damage. So I'm just going to do as much attrition damage to them before I get there with my reinforcements from King Dane. Because I think that with King Dane, um, we'd have enough men to defeat them if they sallied out. Especially utilizing our war goats. The cycle charging on that could be pretty impactful. Yeah, let's get some axe throwers. And some halberds. Building. Want to build, but don't have 5,000 gold. But we might next turn. Or not turn after next, because we're not going to spend everything every turn. We don't have enough settlements to be... Oh, I guess we're about to take one. <laughs> Who knows how much we have to build here. Oh, that's a decent amount of money from that thing. Roads. So we'll have enough if nothing else is completing and starting next turn, yeah. Cool. My king. My Ooh. king. I, my liege. I lord. Move out. I know I something. Take a look down here, because we don't know what's in this province. I, my liege. Oh, my diplomat. Where'd they go? What is it you wish to discuss? You hold us at until we meet again. Why is trading with me such a chore? I'm the dwarves. I'm like the best trade partner. There goes all my money. Never mind, I thought I was going to be able to build that mining complex. Is that 
turn two of us sieging that? No, those are all still full. Courage, men. Regroup quickly. Pull back. Break off the siege. Um. I'm guessing he's a highborn of Erebor unit because that was what I encountered in my Isengard campaign as being most of General's bodyguards, if I remember correctly. So he's probably pretty expensive in the upkeep. Even if he's not, how much are the Sons of Durin? Still pretty expensive. We are making a fair amount of money. Oh, I should have checked that for a sec to see how much ammo they had. Oh well. I, my liege. Marching now. I, noble sire, setting a vigilant watch here. It's not very loyal either. My king. That's a cardinal sin for a dwarf. Um. I mean, they're not gonna lock me different next time. We'll just wait. It's unfortunate that this army has been so useless to start. Um, like I might have been able to win that too, but it just it wasn't worth it. We have plenty of time to do this, and oh, I should now that we kind of defeated Dale, I should talk about the long-term goals of this campaign, which are to uh, hold Erebor, Moria, so you have to take over. Hazard Doom, which is right over here. Uh, Gundabad, which I've never actually been to, but I assume is somewhere in the Misty Mountains over here. Um, Thorin's Halls, which is way, way, way over here. Um, so that's an interesting one. We'll see how that goes. Um, and we also have to eliminate the factions Orcs of the Misty Mountains and the Witch Home of Angmar. Um, both of which are hugely spam factions. Like, they spam tons of units. My hope here is that Dwarven units have good auto-resolve. Because they're they're pretty... The, the AI should see them as being pretty good units. I think in my previous campaigns, a lot of the times my units didn't look very good. Um, towards the end of my Isengard campaign, they did. Um, but, you know, it, they weren't super high stats. So I was I was, you know, having to use kind of numbers and kind of tactics to you know hit the backs of the units and stuff I mean you saw how it, it, watch the campaign um, but against the Misty Mountains we don't have and Angmar as well we don't have the same tools that Isengard had to deal with that which was namely lots of cavalry but we do have the mountain goats so this will be helpful um, but the wargs are probably better at running stuff down than these right guys are um, we do have probably stronger infantry than Isengard did, which is a mini plus. Um, and we have access to rangers, which Isengard does not. Um, which will be a huge plus, because rangers can get massive amounts of kills. Um, we also have, you know, a pretty a pretty decent range force. It, Isengard did as well, honestly. The Snaga were broken, and uh, the Urukai archers and crossbows also did their jobs. Um... Anyways, I saw what's my authority? An honor, my lord. Oh, that's great. That's excellent authority. Um, let's I saw send over a couple men I as well. It'll take a little bit, but this will take a little bit too. Camp here, good camp yeah, here. this is going to be a big fight. We'll have to... Oh, shit. Put a lot of uh, troops into it. Always take those brides. Isaiah representing Scotland. Good. They just say representing Aye. Scotland. Of course. Let's uh, queue it up Aye, so we can sir. do it on our next turn. Dang it, I'll I moved too close. To Wait, that's well, that's building. I'm surprised that managed to get worked in. Oh, we finished our. Uh, Mining network here, and our mines in Dale, so we have some buildings to do. I mean, we're getting this, right? That's more money. Um, we could really use some roads, though. 
Yeah, we're gonna get Rhodes next, because that's significantly cheaper, and it'll pay out probably faster than the other thing will. The religious conversion bonus on the mining network here is actually a big reason to get it, because it'll help us become more dwarven here without having to invest into the brewery line. Kind of get two birds stoned at once. I sign. Blue boat. I lord. Now you might say it's useless to do this on your own turn. Move your units like that if they're queued up. But you can um, run into things, and then you stop moving if you don't do that. So it is kind of useful. All right. Opening, what is it you wish to talk about? That seems we'll have little choice but to accept your raw deal. Well, we should be friends. Or dwarves. Um, let's go talk to, like, Imladris and stuff. Of course, sire. Yes, sire. Rivendell should be right sire. there. I'm a stop here, sire. got a fair bit of money. 3,900 gold per turn. Excess. But we got a fair bit of construction we can be doing right now, so... Seventy gold per turn is, is not insignificant. That's pretty insignificant. So is that. Okay. Roads it is. Yeah, that's better though, for right now, for sure. It's a little cheaper too, so. I, my lead. All right. I know. Leading the men with honor, Damn it. sire. I, my, I sire. On, I, I, my, I sire. My king. Yeah, we will have them I, sally out though. We probably won't storm that. Yes, my king. This shall not see oh, me, sire. We probably shouldn't invest too heavily in this direction. I mean. I guess we could push all the way to the border. There's probably not a ton of settlements in here, because it's probably... I noticed the territories are bigger towards the rim, which is similar to how Medieval worked, too. Um, probably push this way and kind of secure a back line, and then we can feel very confident in our economy and be able to uh, accept more losses against the Orcish factions, which are going to have tons and tons of people. And Angmar, Angmar is going to get super strong, because there's no way... I'm getting all the way over here in a reasonable amount of time and going to be able to take them out. I mean, there I could have probably sent an exploratory army, army off early, but I wouldn't have been able to do all this for sure. Um, I Lord. No, it might have been worth it actually to take out Angmar early. I don't know. No reason, no reason to overthink this now. I've already made my decision. But because we're going to have to fight Angmar late, um, we're going to have to be... Let's actually move right there. I lord. Move out. I noble son. We march to battle. I sire, laying siege at once. Awaiting your order, sire. So it was ready to upgrade, right? I don't actually see the walls. This is a fortress. It's Erebor city? Yeah, it's a huge city though. Why can't I open that up? Yeah, you have too many people. I need someone with less than 3,000 people so I can see if it. I'm. I don't know what that. Yeah, I. There's no. There's no walls. Unless mountain is my walls, but that's different. That's like defensive structure. It does say walls. Maybe that is my huge city. It's just called a mountain. 
But this kind of implies that. Oh, okay. So I do need the walls to get the top tier, some of this stuff. So I guess mountain is my utility. I'm not spending 12k to upgrade it right now because that's a lot of money. Um, but that's interesting that my huge city is mountain. Definitely plays to the defensive style of the dwarves. Um, Something to discovered a couple little rival settlements down here. Um, looks like there's one over here and one over here. At your circle. Let's just keep exploring our my way. perimeter. Stopping here, sire. Aye. Should be the end of our turn. Just getting a lot of building and economy going here. This is oh, probably Lamad and Ladris. This is definitely the uh, strongest economy I have seen from a faction this early. Aye, sire, representing Scotland. Of course, sire. Aye, sire. Wait, who did Elmadris ally with? Brood hour, interesting. Okay, everyone's building. I sire. Surge up. Combining the armies, sire. Nice. Nice. So they'll sally out next turn, but we should easily, easily win that. Save before fighting here. Okay. Well, this is a good chance to test out my axe throwers on some more lightly armored targets here. Uh, got plenty of axe throwers in this army. Oh, please don't crash. Okay. Uh, you guys. We're gonna put forward some infantry if they're sallying out. Bring our cav around the side. Guys, all right, and then yeah, I get our crossbows on there. Crossbowmen. The best way to counter horse archers is with foot archers. Um, they outshoot them very heavily, and you need to take advantage of that. And just defending your your foot archers is is enough to. to beat a uh, missile cab in a cost-effective way. That's guys really just came out of hiding there. Fighting up this close to their uh, this close to their base because uh, it allows them to retreat easily. If we continue like this, we will All right, but yeah, get our cab in there to help that side. Shit. Actually, we can pull our cav out, get our axe throwers in there, and then get our cav over on these bandits. Trying to get the crossbows firing back at the right targets. How's the formation look? This button, by the way, is super useful for telling where your lines start and their lines end. They got a nice volley of jabs into us there. We're going to respond with some uh, pretty quality stuff of our own here. Let's uh, get in position there. You guys get in position. Nope, keep shooting. Oh, yeah, be a little closer though. Then you need to keep a fire on those crossbowmen. 
Let's pull the goats back out. The axe throwers on the targets. Oh no. We're routing them. The enemy are badly wow. bloodied. They have lost half their men. Yeah, we're gonna use our cav here. Run these guys down. Well, let's run down the ones that are routing, specifically. The enemy general. Our men have captured the enemy general. Guard them well. His war chiefs. So watch us defeat the rest of his army. See if we can get a few of these guildsmen before they get back into their town square. They're pretty close. Yeah, just pull out. Down these guys. Looks like we got charged there while I was other places. These Ironfoot warriors holding out super well against these Cav here. Um, yeah. Oh, Sons of Durin were mixed in with there too. That's probably why they were holding out so well. I was like, yeah, that's uh, impressive from just Ironfoot warriors, but no. We had some of the some of my sons. Of course, they did well. All of my sons are special and brilliant and perfect. You guys ever watched the the show uh, Three Kingdoms? I, I started watching it after uh, it was announced. The Three Kingdoms Total War was announced, and uh, there's some really funny lines in that show. Um, and at one moment, there is a. Uh, a line of where someone mistakes someone's son for their older brother, basically, and uh, the the parent of this of this son is when when the person is you know brought it's brought to their attention that they're mistaking two people, you know, and the person's like, but how can this be possible? They're they're known for being so good at all these different things, but this person is you know this very young boy this. Uh, and they're thinking he's his older brother, and he's like, well, it's because my sons are all basically great at everything, that's why. Um, even this child is superior. thought it was pretty funny. It's a good show. Uh, I really recommend it to anyone that uh, liked Game of Thrones. You'll like that show. Um, it's a lot slower, it's a lot more dialogue driven, and the special effects are definitely not the same level. But, you know, um, it's an incredibly good story, and very much worth a watch. I just want to kill these bandits because they're technically outside of the zone. So yeah, they'll route like that. And then we can get extra kills. Or close extra quickly. Let's use our abilities. See the obsidian guard in action here with their dual wielding uh, obsidian blades. We'll take a closer look at those guys in a second here. I haven't shown you their stats yet. They're a very impressive melee unit. I mean, all of the Dwarven elites are very impressive, but... Well done, um, a the Obsidian Guard are impressive in two ways. I have 4,589 gold per turn in free, free income. Plus 2% bonus on all trade income. Does that faction wide? Okay, let's actually hold up. We gotta learn something here. Trade income. Let's look at this number here. Trade 2,855. Didn't change there. Let's see if it. Ah, it's so hard to tell. Where do you even go? Probably ended up in here, right? Yeah. Well, we don't really need all these generals together. Okay. Right. It's not the end of the world having it. Means we could just leave stuff like that behind to defend, because these armies are gonna roll through. We'll just do it. We're pretty rich. We can kind of afford stuff like that. Three units of ballista. That's a curse right there. That's a curse. One. 
That's not a reward. You've not blessed me this day. Alright, Burgram. Let's get some farmlands. Roads, market. We'll lower your tax rate. Also, let's lower this guy's. Oh, they're already low. Um, just because I want them to grow faster so I can get walls on them. Something to investigate. They shall not see me, sire. And then my On diplomat. My of service? Yes, sire. We could wait a turn and see if we get a. Well, it's only be like a five. I'd rather get a different mission. That this good day to you. Was better. <laughs> Have we talked to Rohan or Isengard yet? No. Let's talk to the Dunlendings as well. Dunlendings. You can also talk to Gondor and Dol Amroth is locked down there. Yeah, that's not gonna happen though. My king. We, we will train troops. Do we get here? More goats. We'll train troops here. Actually, we could get four pretty quickly. Let's do one, two, three, four. I'll take three turns. Yeah, and we'll get the reward. We'll get a refresh on the mission. Mission counter. In my experience, you can't have more than one of these missions from the Council of Nobles at a given time, and it seems like also any it it makes it ex even in vanilla medieval. I have had multiple missions available to me for different sources at a time, but it's extremely rare. I think that each mission you have actually de decreases the chance of su getting successive missions, so it's sometimes worth completing them even if they're bad, just to get a new one that's better. You're looking for ones that give you know the best troops currently available, or even just some military troops usually, or 1,500 gold. 1,500 gold is not bad. Don't underestimate a little bit of gold. Probably roads here. Maybe we get. We can't get mines here, so we can't get that free vulture. That's coming next. Gotta remember this doesn't do anything, I don't think. We will try it though. Once we've gotten everything else we need. Rather our elements. So it'll be a little bit. Okay. Diplomat. You got people to talk to? Get somewhere around here. Need to pay attention to my spy. I need to be getting vision of. Oh, there's some road there. Perfect. That's. I love to see that. That helps me find stuff so much better. Yeah. On my way. All roads lead to a town. It can be useful if you're exploring places you don't know about. I mean, let's get that, yeah. My king, leading the men with honor, sire. We shall hold them to siege, sire. Should we move That's to the wall, sire? That's a fairly decent force as well. It'll hold out for four turns. The risk we take in pushing it is I know that I'm just going to use my general's bodyguard units aggressively if we do. I just make sure that like this guy or yeah this guy is pretty new. It's not very good. He's smart and loyal. DJ Khaled. Proper morals. Yeah, we'll probably just try and take that. We'll just use the Highborns of Erebor, that unit in front, and uh, do our best. Something to investigate, my lord. Can I be of service? Of course, sire. 
Yes, sir. What is it you wish to discuss? Seems like until we meet again. Of course, sir. Okay, let's go for Isengard. I must stop here, sire. Oh, we only have one unit spears. Yeah. How many free units do I get here? Because I'm mostly doing this because it's all going to be free. So I get five, seven, ten. Ten free units. So I have five right now. I have make ten. I, my liege. By your will, sire, we shall engage. One thing I will say that's just been really interesting to me is that my Isengard campaign, the first campaign I did, gave me the impression that a lot of these settlements were missing maps and would crash if you tried to fight at them, or that battles in general were going to crash, because I crashed so much on my battles as Isengard. This, this game? Or any any subsequent oh, no. game has not been an issue. I think that's really interesting. I don't know why that is. It's probably just bad luck, but it seems funny that I picked the I guess one to start. That's right, we're getting that mission done. Okay, let's uh let's do it. Leading the men with honor, sire. I have a great auto resolve there. Yeah, but I'm just gonna lose something stupid. I'm just gonna lose a bunch of crossbowmen or something. It's gonna be a while before I can retrain crossbowmen. They're they're a tier three unit, as we saw in the archery stuff. Although I think um, that first town we took actually has better uh, like ranges at it than most starter settlements because like when I was playing Dale they had like a tier 2 or tier 3 archery range I had to start which is definitely nice okay yep you let's take a look at the obsidian guard they have lower melee attack um, and charge bonus than the uh Sons of Durin, and they are not armor piercing, but their total defense is much higher. Their defensive skill is insane, and their armor is also pretty solid. As opposed to the Sons of Durin, which have like 23 melee defense, yeah, 11 of which comes from armor and 12 from uh, defensive skill. Um, so they're much tankier, and they're mostly meant to like mulch low tier troops. They're dual wielding, they have like these two obsidian swords, I guess. Uh, pretty cool looking unit. Um, I didn't see them on the roster as far as I remember for training. It might be one of those units that you can only get from like your starter general bodyguard campaign. Um, which is too bad because they're really cool. Sons of Durin, these guys, and uh, yeah, that's what we're going to start with. Oh, you over here. So we'll make a couple holes. But that we do have to be a little bit careful, because they had crossbowmen as their general's bodyguard unit, and they have a lot of bandits, which are javelin throwing units, even though they don't really throw their javelins all that often. Um, they're a hybrid unit, and they tend to prefer melee, it seems. When you're using them, it's important to note that their trait is fires a volley of javelins before charging. So if you actually target them onto someone, they'll throw a volley of javelins and then they'll charge in at them. Whereas if you put them on fire at will in defensive mode, they'll throw their three volleys of javelins. And then you can just assign them to charge in, which is much better. Anytime you have control over what your unit does, it's generally better than what you don't. 
All right, so this is going to be the section that has to storm the crossbows here, which is great, because this is the shielded section. Pop our ability, too. The battle is very much in our favor. If we remain true and steadfast, victory will be ours. I kind of want to grab up my mountain goats here, just to give me a little bit more pressure. I'm worried that these guys are going to start firing jab volleys into my flanks here. No, they're engaged now. Feels much better now the fan's actually blowing on me. It's so hot here. Defense put on here. Alright. Yes, this group. Great. In melee with the mercenary crossbowmen. It's about as good as it can get. These guys are going out pretty quickly. They are not meant to be in melee. Against the Obsidian Guard and uh, Highborns of Erebor. Pretty nasty fight for them. I think these miners are armor piercing. Yeah, so they'll be good against these mercenary guildsmen as well, actually. Because they do tend to rely a bit on their armor. As opposed to the bandits. I'll just speed this up. I don't know why I'm uh, keeping a lot of times one there. I think I was just worried about crosswomen and javelins, but it seems like everything's pretty secure right now. Yeah. The enemy general lies dead. We have set the Excellent. To hell. Pushing this forward. This is going to be the force that actually takes the center, and we could actually just push it into their back lines too, probably, and route them, but we probably just take the center and force some of them back too just as well. Oh, thank god that blizzard cleared up. Makes it so much easier to see. The enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. Ah, curses! Our men no longer command the city. I second got that loss of general there with that all curses. Sounded like a more dramatic problem than just losing access to the control of the city. We'll take it. We'll take it. Oof. We got Javelin Volley point blank there into the Obsidian Guard of all things. Even those super low tier Javelins can do a lot of damage. Don't scare me like that. Be in awe of the victory we have won here today. Okay, that's definitely better than we would have gotten from an auto resolve. Most noble conquest, sire. Yeah, we'll retrain them at the very least. I don't want another unit. I don't know if I can really afford it right now. And plus, one unit of cav is really sufficient for early armies. Especially if we're just going around taking rebel settlements right now. Not really that necessary. It's pretty expensive. Yes, my king. I am being kind of stingy with my money because don't know when I'll need it. And this stuff's pretty expensive, but our income per turn is amazing right now. Keep getting those trade agreements, because it money. does increase our uh, money we're making from trade here. And no, it's right there. Isengard can't be... Look at this tiny-ass vision range. 
Isengard's right there. No idea. No idea. No idea. No idea. All right. That's. Oh, we can probably move out of here. Yeah. Did that make you happy? You're fine. So we're gonna keep mopping up this backline over here while we're kind of training an army up here in Erebor. And then once we have an army in Erebor, maybe two even with how much money we have, we'll push uh, towards the Misty Mountains. Our allies are Thranduil, Thranduil and Legolas, so we won't have to worry about um, them attacking us. And we can already even get their help because the, the orcs of the Misty Mountains are like right over here. Um, I don't know exactly where because I haven't fought them yet, but they're right over there. Aye, my liege. Hiding the troops you know, Dunlost here got to like almost 4k, or maybe 4,500 gold per turn um, when I was playing with them. As I are playing controlled as Isengard, but I think this will exceed that because that uh, that one building right here gives 1,200 right by itself, um, which right now combined with Erebor would put it uh, exceeding that. And I'm going to get this mining complex, which will give me more gold, and I'll get I have further trade things to get. So I don't have a Rhodes Plus. So yeah, there's lots to. Dale finished a mining network, great. Yeah, I mean, more money, growth, and conversion. I'll take it. I, I, <sighs> I want to send all these guys down, but I'm worried that if I do, I'm going to get another quest to reinforce this place. And I just don't want that quest. Oh, I should have built a watchtower back there. I, noble sire, setting a vigilant watch here. An honor, my lord. Okay, where's my spy? Yes, my king. So, I haven't found that. They shall not see me, sire. Shit. This road goes like that. Where's this road taking me? Yes, my king. We'll find out. I, sire. My king. I don't really need more men in this army, but take him I guess just building up a bigger and bigger force over here I want more axe throwers I have a lot in the army I have currently actually but um, actually and against the misty mountain the armor piercing of the mercenary guildsmen the halberds and the miners be pretty good these ironfoot warriors aren't gonna do a ton let's get some mercenary guildsmen I also don't mind throwing human troops away um, dwarven lives are more important for sure Position for your plan seem goodbye. Let's actually go all the way to Adoras. Yes, sire. We'll get it next of turn. Course, I, I do that, I move away too far so that I can actually queue up an action for next turn, so if I forget, at least I talk to them at the end of next turn. Well, I guess it'd be the same thing as the beginning as a turn after that, but you know. Helps me out. Helps me out a little bit. Otherwise, I could stand there for a long time. That was the one we were told to take, right? Yeah. By your will, sire, we shall engage. They got defending. Oh, that's nothing. That'll be a breeze. I lord. Honor, my lord. I do so. On my way. Taking me across the fucking map here, dude. Terrible road to follow. Hey, our first crash. 
Okay. Well, uh, My king. the save trick I didn't work that time, but Mission March. F tries did. We march no farther today. Was four tries. Okay, that's still building. You know, maybe we, well, let's we'll do it for roads next, and then let's go for the blacksmith. Get tier three blacksmith so we can get that forge, because that also gives us access to the recruitment of the blacklock engineers, which are going to be huge for us. It's going to be huge for us. Such a big uh, boon that'll be. Um, yeah, we're going to take that. No reason to wait for those other guys for this village. I, I mean, I don't even mind if I have to auto resolve this one, honestly. I, I, this is so in my favor. Looks like. Nope. Oop. Okay, well. Whatever. Misclicked. You can drop. Yeah, you can push. But. Gonna be them. Does all the fighting. Gonna be my dwarf squad. So they, yeah, they just got. I remember it's, there's some range units like black walls, some spearmen. Looks like Rudar clansmen. Is that it? Just three units. But they had four. Against this elite dwarven infantry. No chance. No chance. Look at those hammers. Look at that obsidian armor, which would be really bad armor, honestly. It, it, it does make decent weapons. They're very brittle weapons, um, but you know, I can I can see the appeal. It's very sharp. Um, probably a weapon made solely of obsidian wouldn't do much, but if you stick some obsidian into a piece of wood, you got a nice cutting edge. Um, but obsidian armor would be terrible you're like wearing glass armor like as soon as it as soon as someone hits you it, you just take like tons of piercing damage from your own armor yeah it just pushed through to the there we go these guathlo trackers are not gonna do much to this heavy heavy dwarven squad here We're gonna go through the path through as long as we can. Nope, keep going. The battle is very much in our favor. If we remain true and steadfast, like the disparity is so great here, I don't even want to assign tack orders. I just want them to keep moving. For right now, they're gonna yeah, they're just murdering these guys as they walk through them. All right, now we can turn and kill them. Over there we go. That way, when they route, they have to route through us to get back to the base, and then we'll die. They'll actually die. Yep. Just like that. Oh, we have abilities, right? The battle is very much in our favor. If we remain true and even the Black Wolves, being the armor-piercing infantry that they are. We have set the um, to hell. Aren't gonna be able to kill these guys very quickly. Um, only having one unit of them doesn't help either, but they're really no match for the dwarves here. Dwarven generals, bodyguards. At this point, it's just a matter of uh, mulching through them. They have lost mulching through them. Taken control of the city. Yeah, that was pretty one-sided there. I don't think it lost any troops. It won't regenerate, so that's nice. Oh, the son of the fallen. Must just be the general of the group. A victory. I saw it. Oh, did we leave straight away last time? Is that why that? Well, you know what? This time, well, there's a village right there. 
We're gonna take that, obviously. My king. My king. I actually leave I the um, war goes behind for right now. And then the miners can stay behind in their stead once they've retrained. Move like right up to the edge so that we can build a watchtower. In between. Okay. All is well. We got more mercenary guildsmen coming. Another, you know, halberds wouldn't be bad. What is it you wish to discuss? Oh, that's right. See, I remember this. This saved me. I I managed to you do it this turn. Until we meet again. Oh, should have tracked that spy. Wait. I don't need more generals where they are, and I know that they're gonna spawn next to King Dane. Um. So. Wow. Okay. Great. They're just like. We giving me extra money for doing what I was already gonna do. I lord. Um, Forward. where the heck does this road go? Oh, it just ends there? They shall not see me, Worthless. At your service. Okay. We found that one. There is one over here somewhere, I guess. Stalking your side. Side I not worry about it that much? Well, I want to push all the way over. Okay, I do want to take all of this, so. Eastern Nern, Forachel. So these are different regions of Forest of Rune. So let's look Something for this one first. We'll, we'll be thorough. Here, um, we also need to move our diplomat. I am a king. Of course, sir. You have a proposition for us? You hold us a farewell, then. Yes, sir. Sorry trading with me is such a burden, you guys. The trade income has gone up a lot since we last looked at it, though. Like almost a thousand, I think. I think it was like 2,500 or 2,400 before when we were trying to check if the smart trait would immediately increase our gold per turn. My king. Which it did not. Yeah, we have a lot of extra money here. You know what we could do? You know what I was saying earlier? Thorin's Halls were going to be kind of a weird objective because I have to get an army like all the way over here. All the way right here. That's where I need to go. My diplomat get there pretty quick. That's like six turns, probably. Can I be able to bribe them to join me? In which case, I could just defend that and that that just game or not game, but you know, free objective for me. It could even be helpful in my fight against Angmar since Angmar is going to take over all of Arthur Dane. If anything that I've ever seen happen in this game. Uh, rings true. Let's actually see right now. Let's just look at the power rankings. We got Arthur Dane. We got Angmar. Yeah, that's gonna be a problem for Arthur Dane. Yeah, I, Arthur Dane's still at two territories, and Angmar's already at five. Yeah, it's gonna be a problem for them. Forty upkeep. These are cav, right? Get that. I mean, just some archers isn't bad. Yeah, we'll get some mercenaries. Leading the men with honor, sire. We got plenty of money. Um. Okay. You know, I might even want a second diplomat right now, just for a little bit. I don't think I can, there's like a way to kill them. Unfortunately, I think I have to pay for them. I would love this guy, um, but I just not gonna be in the right spot. He's gonna be over here, just so far from where I'd want him right now. Just to save money. We don't need them to take these rebel settlements. It's just like. You know, four units every time, and it's we shall hold them to at worst <laughs> right here. We got three units of cab and one archer. Oh, oh boy! I'm not gonna do a ton to my 
We should auto resolve this. Alright, lost a lot of men there. Glory and honor! A most noble conquest, sire. Whoa. Interesting, it's already got culture as well for me. How much culture is a dwarven already? Almost 40%. Aye. Move out. I sire. I lord. March. March. Okay, where's my spy? Yes. We're gonna get you back over here, because I actually don't know where the next settlement is on my is it this one? It's pretty far away. I feel like there must be one closer. Plains of Arafel, Eastern Nernia. Yeah, there's probably one closer. I want to know where it is. Who would leave him behind? Let's see if the Guathlo tracker's behind. My king. And in your name, sir. To watch. Oh. <laughs> there it is. I, noble, I. Losing in the enemy. Will these guys ever catch up to that army? It's an honest question. Erebor, you're two turns, turns away. Yeah. Okay, we'll just end our turn. Oh, yep. They're moving. No, they're moving. They're moving the right direction. That's good. That's kind of unfortunate. I sorry. Yes, sire. I sorry. But I moved in that turn because I bumped into people twice. Oh, and the largest faction. Not surprised, honestly. Taking a lot of territory here very quickly. By your will, sire, we shall engage. I'll take damage uh, if I don't fight this personally. Oh, I lost a lot of crossbowmen. See, that's why I don't like auto resolving because I lose units. I lose stupid units. Like, why would I lose crossbowmen? They're... They shouldn't have been... They didn't have any missile units. Like, or they have one missile unit. I don't know. Look, we got the silver scouts here. Yeah, that's blinding to look at for me. For me, I don't know how it looks on YouTube, but... That's blinding. Okay. All you guys. Actually, I'm gonna keep my scouts out of this, because... Their upkeep's really low, and they're going to be useful just using to run down routing units on field battles. Because all my guys are super slow. Um, and yeah, you can stand pretty far back and try that. We'll let these guys get uh, close before we send in. Winning the battle. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Get these crossbows shooting to exposed flanks here. You want to? I mean, that's actually a pretty good shot hitting in here. I was being able to shoot over the heads of my men really quite well, actually. The actually, the black bolts are a better target, money. anyways. We have lost half Let's keep that up. You just generally don't want to fire up with crossbows ever. You always want to keep a very uh, horizontal line of fire. You don't want to have much arc to it. You lose a lot of your killing power if you have any arc to it. Even your crossbow's really close. Actually, these guys are coming too. There's my axes. Taken control of the city. Good tidings. The enemy general lies dead. We have sent the cart to hell. I think that's GG right there. Oh, no, there's a black with us. victory we have won here today. Ah, a proud victory. We have lands and glory. 
high, my liege. I saw it. Better keep moving. I can't. I saw it. Oh. I. Um, I how happy would you be with just them? Mark. You're gonna have low tax rate anyways, you're so small, so... Happy enough is the answer. Okay, I think we're on the right track here. Take current. Is there a village down here? Follow the road. I don't think I found one, so... It may not be. It's possible that Karin just extends all that way down. Continues tomorrow, sire. Today's journey is over, sire. I must stop here, sire. Oh, Airbor finished their mining complex. What are we building now? Roads, great. Our roads almost at 4,000. That will take it over 4,000. Okay. I, my liege, and your needs. I, noble sire, setting up at your service. They shall not see me, sire. I, onward. We march no farther today. Yeah, I'm gonna get a second diplomat. Um, I want to talk to more people and get more trade. I think it'll pay for itself pretty quickly. It's the wages I'm concerned about more than the, uh... There's no way to disband them as far as I'm aware, and I can't get them killed if there's no assassins around. Alright, I'll take the bait. Um... My Give me 500 gold to do that. Probably free upkeep anyway, so. Well done, lads. Nobody will can with the I know what's on. We must something to investigate. Yeah, we on got small little place down there. All right, let's keep exploring over to this side. We kind of skipped that for a sec. I do want to be able to push all the way to the wall, so I don't have to defend stuff over there as heavily. You know, being able to kind of just have this river be my border. Makes me feel pretty safe. If I can get good relationships with Dorwinian, who's the faction down there, I have a diplomat, so now I can go chat with them. My lord. That'll I'll be nice. Tomorrow, That's still rebels. I mean, we might take some of this actually. Well, leaving the river as a border feels very clean to me. Kinda like it. I don't know. Um building, building, diplomat. Your honor. Of course, sire. I could go talk to Carlin really fast on the way too. Yes, sire. Of course, sire. Oh, they're right around here. Everything your command. I am a king. Come on. Now that's not possible. Don't make me walk super far to find them. Be of service. My king. One of these days, Captain Kagrim. You'll complete your mission of catching up to this other army. Oh, that's Carnot Field, so that's this province here. So, okay, we actually have most of this area. I just haven't kind of explored it yet. These are pretty big provinces, like I was saying. I, in my, I bet if it's anything like how Medieval 2 tends to work, or the maps tend to be designed. They put all the really dense settlements in the center, so there's more competition for them, basically. More reward for being surrounded by enemies. My king, by your will, sire, we shall engage. Easy peasy. Hold, my lord. 
On mark. Yes, my king. Ooh, rhubarb. It'd be great if we could take rhubarb because that probably is easier to defend than this little little village right there. We'll go for that next. We'll come down. We'll take the little village. We'll take rhubarb. It's gonna be a while before these guys have a leader. I could just try for a man of the hour. My king. I have really high authority, so I don't think they're gonna... Oh, but that probably just tanked my income per turn. Yeah, probably. By a fair amount. It's a lot of free upkeep that just got... What is it you wish to discuss? It's good day to you. Of course, sir. Alright, what's your, what's your skill? Six. Not bad. I'll and try and work. save some money up too, because we want to have money in the bank to bribe them with. Alright, there's not a ton of building that's queued up. It's gonna take away a bunch of cash from us. Oh, this is about to. Well, actually, we'll just hold off, because the other thing I would build is these mines, and I'm pretty sure that they don't give me anything. Yeah. Aye, Lord. Aye, sir. Aye. Forward. Aye, my king. Aye, sire. Yes, Awaiting a road. Yes, sire. Wrong way. That's... Aye, my king. Aye, um... sire. Okay, My great. Lord, you have a proposition for us? No, we cannot. Another proposition for us then? This isn't going to happen now. You want an honor and a pleasure. Farewell. What? That wasn't an honor and a pleasure. You were mean to me. Aye, Lord. Move out. We march no further today. My king, that'll do him today, sire. Okay, uh, let's take here. Leading the men with honor, sire. It's like we're getting pretty close to our two-hour mark, too. Although I did have a pretty long crash in here, so this one might be a little bit long, maybe. I think I'm gonna end the episode when I reach Lawrence Halls and bribe them. That'll be the last thing we do. All these dwarves look so grumpy. Okay, run away. It'd be interesting to see if these guys had uh, more defenses in their rebel settlements. The game would look like we'd have to actually, you know, use more units in a lot of these sieges. Our men have done well. The gates have fallen. Our soldiers have proved their worth today. The enemy's walls belong. They've to proved us. their worth long ago. Winning the battle. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Oh, they're getting volleys in now. A noble death. Who? Is that my king? That's too bad. The enemy are badly bloodied. The enemy general lies dead. Let the crows have his miserable bones. 
and let our swords have no Danes, my king. Thorn must be my obsidian guard. That's too bad. Losing him like that. You never lose generals to like serious battles. You always lose them to stupid shit like this. Well, it's the risk. It's the risk we take by using our generals like this. Our men no longer command the city. I lost the second one there for a second. Use your abilities. Oh, there's one behind us. This is a clear victory. Damn. I hope we don't lose our obsidian guard. I hope that was I'm just mistaken. It was someone else. Most noble conquest, sire. I yeah, that was definitely. Marching now. An honor, my lord. Chidian guard. Yep. I sire. That my sucks. King. Which makes it easier for us to get a man of the hour, honestly. Alright, let's uh, fill him back up. Because we can get a lot of free upkeep in Erebor. Um, and our diplomat. Honestly, you could probably pass by three really quickly, too. Yes, sire. I, sire. Yeah, Bree should be right up here. Of course, sire. I, my lord. I'm gonna stick you. I should make sure I get to Thorin's halls before someone takes it, though. I, sire. What is it you wish to discuss? You hold us at rest until we meet again. Oh, and Carlin didn't even agree to do anything with me. That was annoying. I, sire. Wait, talk to him again. Representing Scotland. Today's journey is over, sire. Okay, who are we leaving behind? Leaving some axe stars behind. Leave a full I unit will. like that I one. Move out. I. You don't like that? What big are you? Pretty decent size. I sire. I. Onward. Move out. Okay. I, my liege. My king. I. By your will, at your service. On my way. Okay, so that's this region here. So maybe that is what's just to the south of that. Aye, Lord. Onward. I hope I'm not sending that northern army to its doom. I haven't really scouted ahead at all. I don't think I'm at war with anyone yet, though. Yeah, so it's not like I'm just gonna get auto attacked. Oh, my diplomat. You have a proposition for No, I did. Did I get? It was Darwinian that didn't want anything to do with me. This there is something else you wish to propose. Then let's not take this. We hope yeah. for more. We'll try again in a second. In I would love an alliance with Darwinian. I have no interest in fighting them. Having my southern. Order be secure would be awesome. Oh, my right king. there. Move out. It's pretty good defense. I sire. I just siege it out for a little bit. To engage the enemy sire. I noble sire. We march to battle. So, no, there's there's two roads here though. So I think. No, this road must. This is Eastern. Okay, this is Eastern Nern. So that's that one is the one that winds up and goes weird over here. But this road here must also go somewhere. On my way. All right, we're gonna explore. They shall not see me, sire. Let's go chat with uh, Lawrence Halls here. This had best be worth our time. I do not believe I'm able to accept this. 
Hey, loyalty's not something you can put a price on? Really? Well, we'll s we have more money next turn. We'll see if that doesn't change when we have more money. We're gonna need a new building next turn, though. Just about getting so much on money over there. But money is how you win wars. Money is how you win wars. Tempted to try those mines out. I think there's another rebel settlement north here, so there must be something in this area. We could do. use that this force here to just start taking some of those northern rebel, rebel settlements speed this up a little bit we can, once we take this we might be able to like recruit a boat and sail back up and speed this up a little bit what is it you wish to discuss this seems very well what okay cool. we we'll just take trade rights for now because you seem really inclined to not talk to me of course sir. i'll continue to move we're gonna go for Khan. Is that Khan over here? So. I'm gonna save because I feel a crash coming. So loyal. Night Fighter. None of the good can or yeah, I'm just not. Maybe he spawns in the right place. Oh, he did. He spawned in Erebor. Oh my god, that's so nice. Okay, you gotta go meet up with these other guys. I, noble son, setting a vigilant. I, closing in the enemy. I, starting with a siege. Yeah, that's four turns also now. We can wait for that. Mining complex was just built somewhere. Oh, it was in Dale, yeah. Okay, I don't actually have more money than I did last turn. We'll talk to Lind in this turn. Yeah. Opening talks with their dignitary side. This journey is over, sire. And this army. I, my lead. They can't quite make it, but I, no. next turn. Something you were gonna look for moving quietly. At your side. Another village. Continuing to move. Okay. What's that? Oh, that's just the border. I thought that was a road for a second. Definitely not. You gonna be of service? I, sire. Oh, here we go. I, sire, representing Scotland. Great. Yes, In alliance with my southern neighbors. That's, that's all I wanted. Possible, sire. This journey is over, sire. Giving away map information in that situation is free, because it doesn't seem like these guys tend to break alliance as much in this game, so pretty confident they're not going to attack you and map information generally does get people to attack you because they start to covet the lands that you own but in that instance I don't think it will let me just see what that road puts my uh damn I'm actually spending money again um yeah I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep having less money than I did that one turn uh dang let's look for Cardlin again we might end this episode on a. I'm I'm gonna play probably a little bit longer than one episode length. Maybe the episode should be a little bit. First episode be a little bit longer. But uh, yeah, I kind of want to make a little bit more progress before I stop here. Easy peasy. Well, I said that last time and I lost the general. You know, we can get a good auto resolve on that because it's all archers. A proud victory. Well done, men. A noble victory. They don't like us very much here. 
105% is pretty low. Religious unrest. Yes, my king. Okay, there it is. Hmm. Somewhere around here is able to train stuff. Yeah. I need that. I actually need more men. Let's merge up. I lord. Yeah. I my I could leave some uh Alberts behind. You'd feel okay about that. My That's king. good. We we'll lower your tax rate too, because you're not growing and you don't like me. I we'll move to siege king. them. Um, we might have to honor, turtle up here for a second though and wait for some reinforcements to come down from Kirik Agathel. Yeah, um, last money I did last turn. Spending 5,200 on construction of 4,300 on recruitment this turn. Jesus, my units are expensive. Hi, my lord. Um... Still got pretty good profit per turn right now. And they might... I don't remember what this force had. Four units? Okay, I'm not gonna worry about it then. If this was like a bigger force, I might have taken another... Um... General's bodyguard unit just to help out, but it's not. We'll just save the money. Okay, you're pretty close. We'll ditch the ballista. One more turn for that. They're gonna join the perfect time to wait out a siege. I know. Leading the men with honor, sire. At your service. So I found that one, but there must be one over here too. Just head. There's a road here we can use to help sire, discover sire. stuff. Scar and train something. Where's that one? This one here. Cool. My cake. I, my king, march! Yeah, I want growth anyways. I, okay, you guys. Send you over here for mark. now. That'll do them today, yep, sire. the main force. Honor, Can you assault? Honor. No, just maintain. Well, sire. We shall engage. Looks like we got there just in time. There was a... Um, rune army that was uh, looking to take the rhubarb. Same as me. I know it's not actually rhubarb, but I'm going to call it rhubarb. Because I want to. Because I want to. Damn it, I'm just keep spending money. I'm not even sure if they'll ever be bribed anyways. You gonna be of service? Okay. Of course, sir. Your honor. I, sir. You must. Awaiting your command. Yeah, Carlin, I just ran into you right there. Have a proposition we do have trade rights, okay. Farewell, then. Delamroth? No, 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 go back for Thorin's Halls. We're gonna leave you over here for a little, a little bit. And then you can go get trade rights with the ultimate enemy, because we don't give a fuck. Yes, sire. I cannot go there, sire. Look, take this, take this little town right there. Don't worry about rhubarb. Don't worry about rhubarb. I, noble sire, joining our forces. Save for that one. Yeah. 
Okay, we'll do this, and this will be the end of the episode. I think that will be the right amount of time, if I know how long my crash cut was. So I went and got some water during it, too. Ooh, kick forward quickly. This, that's in a bad spot. Shoot him, shoot him. But, uh... Dang. I don't think I did these spears yet. Just making sure they all have reasonable positions they're trying to go to. Ballista, feel free to fire. A great shot right now, okay. Don't even bother now. Okay, well you got... That's pretty good. Never mind, never mind. maybe keep going. The battle is very much in our favor. Okay. If we remain and true and steadfast, your halberds. victory will be ours. Put down your halberd walls since you're getting close enough now. Max throw is that? Yeah, I see them tossing. Hope to check their kills. This will be a pretty uh, good indicator of how good they are as a range unit, actually. We'll keep them out of melee. You just see how many kills they can get with their axes in a situation like this. Probably like max range into lightly armored troops. A little mix. There's some dwarven miners in here. Dwarven, hey. Traders. Shoot. I guess the mercenary guild's gonna be like traitors to the humans too. Not being too kind. Oh, I don't know. See, I don't know how the cult, how to think about from a lore perspective how the culture conversion works. Because like realistically, you're just killing all of the native people of that settlement and replacing them with whatever you are. Unless it's like you know, like Dole Amroth taking over some Arthedain stuff, and they both have Dunedain culture or something. But Dunedain are a people. It's not. It's not a religion. So it's uh, kind of genocidal, honestly. We're not going to bother, because at this point we're going to hit our own men. They are starting to route pretty heavy here, though. They're going to regroup in the center, though. Yep, so we're not going to really get a chain route. Of perfection here, but... What's doing so much damage here? Oh, mercenary war chiefs, yeah. Definitely not a bad unit. Take fire and will off too. You shoot if I tell you to. All right, ballista. I mean, good, good shit. But try again. No, even trying to there, I would I would let you risk it, dude. You're pretty accurate. I believe in your ability to shoot them and not me. Let's see if they do it. I believe. Yeah. Another one. Okay, that was a little bit into my guess. Another one. Alright, that was... Only One for three. The enemy force remains. One for three. Oof. 
no, 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 no. I saw that ballista. You ranked up on that one too. You just killed like 50 of my men. Asshole. Asshole ballista. T TKers, dude. Gotta kick these guys off the server, right? Actually, gonna be a pretty good trade for me if I can. Looks like the volley's going over the wall. Pretty much every one of those axes that hits is gonna be a kill. 12 missile damage against something so lightly armored as Quathlo trackers. These guys are probably pretty good anti archer tools, actually. If you get them in position, they have shields and decent armor values, so. I can see that being pretty nasty. Okay. Starting to redeem yourself, hitting something that far away. Good job, Ballista. Yeah, we took some losses here, that's for sure. Mercenary War Chiefs probably racked up a insane kill count here. Heavy Swordsmen versus uh, low tier Dwarven troops. Gonna be pretty effective, especially uh, higher skill ones like that. Well, not higher skill, but high enough to really do some damage. The enemy general has no honor. He flees the field of battle. Our men have captured the enemy general. Guard him well, so we can watch us defeat the rest of his army. All right, this is going to be horrendously slow. So we use like 90% of our ammo on the uh, axe stars, so we'll just, you know, take our information, noting that it's not full, fully depleted here. Our men are in control of the city. Curses! Our men no longer command the city! Yeah, not for long, no. Oh, stop. For the love of God, do not shoot. That would just kill my general right there. General died again, honestly. The war chief's getting pushed back, but I'm really excited to see their kill count. They they carved through me, I'm sure, here. Because we're fighting the front line by themselves for quite a long time. Free me meal, kill them all before our time is out. This is the the worst Sally I've ever done. This is a clear victory. So the axe throws are one thing I want to look at here. Yeah, 197 kills, not bad. Oh, I oh, I can't see how much their men did. Damn it. Yeah. Glory and honor! We have lands and glory! The king could ambush me. Get those roads. Market brewery. Yeah, already fairly dwarven. I, sire. I. Okay, we gotta take this settlement too. Should be pretty easy. You know, 
I'm filling the auto resolve just to end this turn. It's getting late. Victory! Well done, men. A noble victory. Oh, oh, that just sounded cool. Sounds really cool. Dragon King's Militia Hall. Too bad it's just a basic barracks unit. Okay, so we got rhubarb. Do they have a port? No roads. Reduce building capabilities. I never like seeing that. Well, we'll get some reinforcements here. We'll probably just have these men hold rhubarb and this army will move on its own. Take out whatever this place was. And, uh... Yeah. We got some men up here. We'll leave one unit miners behind, just in case. We march no further today. The only one we know about is this one, actually. That'll do him today, son. But for a shell, yeah. So there is one here, northern, whatever. So there's at least one in here. I, I'd imagine there's two in here. Those are still pretty far spread out. And then there might be something up here too. Where's my diplomat? Opening talks with their dignitary side. Okay, I'm going to say the end of the episode is here. Thank you so much for watching the first episode of the Airborne Campaign. There is more coming, so stay tuned.